सो हेलो एवरी वन आई विशाल गुप्ता वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिहाफ ऑफ दी एस आई फॉर ऑल यूट्यूब चैनल सो टूडे वी हैव यंग एंड डायनामेटिक टेक्निकल इंजीनियर मिस्टर महेश्वरा विद अस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द इंटरव्यू लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस विद वट ही इज करंटली डूइंग एंड हिज एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड ही डिड इज बी टेक इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम गायत्री विद्या प्रसाद कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट ही वर्क विद सॉक्ट्रॉनिक्स एज अ डिजाइन इंजीनियर and uh, after taking experience from there he worked hard and get into the cypress semiconductor as a staff engineer and finally up, he uh, finally he updated himself to his profile to samson in uh, r&d as a staff engineer thank you for uh, thank you for thank you sir for coming here uh, in our in our channel we lsf for all so sir like i would firstly i would like to ask you how are you sir and how is going on yeah hi yeah. uh, first of all thank you for the formal uh, introduction yeah it is going fine for us yes sir everything is going fine okay okay sir like uh, the i would like to ask you the very first my first question is how you maintain the cgpa and passion to go in the core and uh, like core based company like as you are in the electronics and uh, we have mm -hmm. only one i think one or two very few subject of the vlsi so you switch your career from electronics core electronics to this vlsi yeah actually to be frank like i don't believe in the cgpa and all like uh, okay. uh, so one should have a passion towards the like uh, what we are doing like uh, so yes, <clears throat> that passion will be created during like uh, you need to identify your passion like uh, uh, maybe during your studies uh, during your bachelors like that so based on the passion like you you can you can go with the flow like so that is what i believe like i frankly don't believe in the cgpa and all like so those who have a less cgpa like uh, they can also come into vlsa they can contribute very well like so yeah i am a firm believer of this concept uh, yes sir so uh, we would like to ask you like how you generate like uh... when you generate your interest towards the vlsi and like how it started okay yeah uh, coming to my thing like uh, uh, actually i have done my diploma in electronics and communications so during my diploma like we used to work a lot on the circuits actually okay we need to spend a lot of time in the labs okay uh, then what we did in the btech okay during that time itself like uh, i have habituated to do some circuits uh, with the discrete devices and all like uh, so coming into like uh, <clears throat> in the btech also like uh, uh, it is it is a kind like i want to work on the circuit uh, related things uh, that passion is like started with me in during my diploma itself after this after the 10th plus like i, I have uh, done my diploma in electronics so yeah my that passion is started in the diploma itself and it's ca uh, carried in the btech so i am lucky to get the like uh, same um, as a working as well like so okay. yeah okay that that's great sir and sir like uh, the my uh, the next question i would like so what is your role in the sortex as a design engineer as it was your first job so like uh, how was your experience there and what was your role as a fresher okay. you joined here <laughs> Yes, sir. my first company is a Socktronics actually. Yes. So, like, uh, actually, it is a startup kind of company. So, as a like uh, <clears throat> uh, during that time, like uh, VLSI is uh, uh, slowly growing, around fifteen time like that. Okay, so uh, like uh, so, it is a fortunate like uh, the B Tech graduate is getting into the VLSI is like a very fortunate for us actually. So, um. <clears throat> so like softronics is started like uh, so we have uh, given some training on the tools and uh, basic concepts in circuit design okay uh, for the 6 months so after the 6 months like uh, we started working on the real time projects there so since it is a startup like we got a lot of exposure like uh, on the circuit design and all like uh, yeah <clears throat> so it is uh, uh, what i can advise is like uh, it is always uh, better to start your career with the startup like uh, okay. so other than mnc like uh, so that is my um, uh, advice i can give it to the all youngsters like uh, all the uh, persons who are starting newly right 
so yeah in the like uh, startup you will uh, get to know like uh, you will get to learn many things actually okay sir like wh- why you are suggesting us to go in the startup because like is it the because the package wise i think uh, there is some difference but i think we get to learn more knowledge is it the same reason or something else like what like uh... Uh, what i can tell is like uh, see when you start your career right uh, uh, it is just like uh, you are just out of the college like what yes, expenses sir. you will be having right so you will be having very less exp- expenses yes, only sir. at starting yes sir. uh so the first thing is like uh, at least you should be stable in terms of like uh, knowledge and all like uh, suppose uh, the, the let us say some x company is giving you like uh, some let us say some uh, 20 lakhs of package right so you need to justify that package right you need to be like a <clears throat> you, you, you should have a skills to justify that package otherwise no one will give you that package right so uh, so <clears throat> since you are uh, entering into a startup kind of companies so you have a, a like a chance to work on the from the uh, scratch kind of circuits like uh, so if you go to the directly mnc right so already many experts will be there there already right almost all the circuits are built right so i am not telling you won't get knowledge in mncs but it is better like you will get more more knowledge in the startup than the mncs that is uh, for a fresher it is always advised to start with the startups only it is be- surely because of the knowledge so if you have a knowledge like you can earn it anyway like so earning start with learning that is the key i can say like yes sir so like sir your suggestion is so if one should start, like uh, is a pressure so uh, he should prefer like uh, startup rather than mnc see like uh, let us say if the person x person is having like two options like a uh, 3 lakh package with the startup yes. okay uh, 10 lakh package with the mnc okay so both are let us say both are with the same domains okay yes sir so both are with the same domain and uh, uh, both are into the same thing so then i strongly recommend that person to uh, dig into that company be, company first like uh, how the company is doing okay even startup also like uh, some companies are doing very very great work actually some companies are not doing like uh, every startup is not a great company right so yeah uh, uh, dig some um, information regarding the company what they are doing like uh, so like that so based on the things like uh, if the company x is like uh, if they have like uh, doing very great work uh, then i will definitely suggest him to at least work on for 2 years in the startup at least like uh, no, he will gain some knowledge so after that uh, if he want money like uh, they will only pay you or otherwise like you can um, go out and uh, uh, uh. get the uh, company you, you want it yes sir that that's okay uh, and sir the next question is how you got offer from the cypress and uh, what is the process to get into that the second company in which you so yeah nothing like say once you acquire skills right like uh, people okay. will be behind you like you no need to jump uh, 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 you know you need to jump for everything okay so okay. once we get the uh, sufficient skills like i applied through linkedin and uh, through the process of interview like uh, two three rounds like we got selected like uh, it's purely like a see like it's a not a kind of government job uh, kind of thing right like uh, so it's a basically uh, purely yeah, based on the skills like yes. uh, so you will apply for the interview uh, maybe in the linkedin or some any other portals like uh, you will get call and uh, uh, technical rounds will be there two or three after that like you will be like uh, get a call like, like okay sir so like in the first company you have done you are like your post was a design engineer and in the second second company uh, your post was a staff engineer so sir what is the role of the staff engineer and the responsibility of that role okay so when you coming to the like a design engineer like uh, so you will be assisting to the seniors actually right so there also like you will get to uh, do some simulations work uh, and then small small design works 
when you come into the like a staff level thing right like you need to really take care of the top level things like so uh, let us say one project is there so for one project like block wise uh, design engineers will do right so all the blocks they will combine and they will see at the top level right so all the top level things uh, design architectures all these things been monitored by the uh, like staff engineers let us say one project is there in that one there will be many blocks will be there so each block will be done by the design engineer and the whole block will be monitored by the staff engineer staff engineer is a kind of like a lead like one project lead i can say okay uh, and sir what about the samsung like now you are working in the samsung as the analog design engineer in a yes. research r and d uh, yes, sir. so like, uh, what are the roles there? This like the same question like I'm asking about the this company. Like, first one is the design, second one is the uh, as your staff, and now like yeah. in a, as the analog as design engineer. So, yeah. what is the role? And we are leading project? some projects. Uh, yeah, we are, here we are having here we are leading some project. Okay, now we'll be having a team under you. Like, uh, we need to guide the juniors, uh, and we need to get through like. Uh, uh, see like uh, uh, for the circuit designer right like uh, it is not something like uh, uh, you did the simulations you get the work done so <clears throat> it is your responsibility to make it a work in a silicon okay something you design right uh, in the chip like that in the software part so it is uh, it is the uh, like uh, a responsibility for a engineer to make it a work in the silicon okay yes so uh, so uh, that is see designing is like uh, if you give a design to some uh, 10 members like 10 persons will do in a different different types okay so like uh, uh, some ex like some members will do with a like a, a power and area with a very small power and area uh, we are we are not very sure like that will work in the silicon okay some persons will do with a higher area and higher power but that may work in silicon right so your job is to like uh, work it with work it in a silicon like see not just a circuit design like uh, so you need to monitor the layout also okay how the layout is uh, for plan okay and uh, uh, <clears throat> whether all the specs are meeting or not uh, if you do the aging any reliability is coming or not so yeah all these things will be matter actually so uh, generally like uh, uh, in the analog circuit design right like uh, for engineers as the experience grows up like uh, uh, their value goes up like exponentially like uh, yeah that is for very sure like yes uh, sir like how did you manage like this is uh, i am asking this question so how did you manage from the staff engineer so from like now you are in analog domain so, like how was your journey what by starting onwards like starting... i am working in the circuit design only analog okay. circuit design only okay. so yeah like uh, uh, as we go i like uh, so regarding the skill wise like uh, i used to study sometime well whenever i get a time like uh, so i used to do some even uh, till now also like uh, uh, whenever i got a time like uh, i used to do some courses in nptel like that okay. to update myself like uh, uh, yeah yes thank you and those are the the now i'm asking the most important question like many people don't take the resume uh making seriously and you in other hand specially tells in your videos uh how it should be look like you are like can you summarize for our audience like because uh when we are in a college so uh, so like uh, most of the people like they somehow like uh, ma manage to make their resume in a hurry like within a two or three hours uh, whenever yeah, the yeah. like uh, the company the pc placement coordinator ask us to fill the registration form so on that day on the last day we try to manage somehow the make the resume and all so just give some your view on this point for the freshers right like uh, yes, uh, let freshers. us say uh, like uh, the person who is graduating from the college right suppose yes. if he has some interest on the like uh, design concepts and all uh, right so what i can suggest is like uh, you make the uh, things very clear for the interviewer like uh, so i know the uh, these concepts i can uh, like you can see uh, whatever you studied in the btech the same concepts will be there like uh, yeah, 
even uh, when you use the like circuit design also like we will be using the kind of control uh, control system concepts like phase margin uh, gain margin and all like uh, all the signals and system concepts like fourier transforms so all these will be using right so like uh, the same concepts will be transforming uh, uh, working for the like uh, uh, as a engineer also right uh so what i can suggest them is like uh, uh, so in the in your btech also we will be working on some projects right so mini project or like a final project so you select the project such a way that like it will be a, a like uh, according to your passion and all like uh, uh, let us say if you are interested on the like uh, embedded system like uh, select the projects on the embedded like uh, choose a career path like that like let us say you are interested towards the like it like choose the concepts in choose the uh, projects like that let us say you are interested into the vlsi right in the vlsi are also many the many things are there choose the like a project like that in the projects itself you uh, since it is a interest for you you can keep uh, like a, you can keep some efforts on that right so that's why like i always suggest like people to choose the uh, things based on their interest like if you choose something based on your interest right so yeah somehow you can work out on it like uh, yeah let us say you like the cricket right uh, early morning like saturday sunday you will wake up at 5 5 o'clock only like uh, to play uh, the yes. cricket right yes so the same the same concept will apply here also like uh, if you choose the like uh, uh, something like so every person will have some passion like i mean something will be interest for them okay so like uh, you people need to find out that uh, thing actually like so according to them. like yeah uh, so uh, if they find that one like they can start working on that so whatever coming to the resume part right uh, so whatever they have worked on the during these projects and uh, uh, whatever they have interest right so that they can keep into the job uh, i mean resume okay so yeah uh, people should take time to prepare that resume because they also need to find out like uh, suppose uh, if you go to the fresher and ask to prepare a resume like it will not uh, come it in a, like uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes at least he need to think about a week like uh, what is his uh, uh, what what he want like uh, what is his strengths and uh, what contrib- what contribution he can give like uh, let us say in the btech itself we are like we are having a around 40 subjects right uh, so out of 40 subjects he may not be interested in the all the subject right yes so but yeah. some subjects he, he 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 like it more like that right so at least he, he need to keep on those things uh, yeah he need to be clear with the basics on those uh, whatever he liked it yeah so in yes. that way like he need to spend some time at least a week to figure out all these things so that uh, uh, see uh, fresher wise like people won't uh, 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 like uh, expect like many magics in the resume okay so whatever you studied you like uh, they should be uh, like at least confident enough to give the answers on the basics that is good enough mm, yes sir uh, like sir and the so according to you like we have to give at least few weeks to record like to realize that in which uh, in which part we are good so that that things also we have to mention in the resume so that if sir the interviewer asks us some question uh, related to that we should be more yes. clear about that yes 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 see whatever you write in the inter- uh, uh, whatever you write in the resume that should be very clear for you right so those points only you need to write so whatever you are very clear those points only you need to write and uh, so when all the interviewer ask like uh, you will be confident right once you write like whatever you know like you should be very confident yeah uh so like i i would like to ask one question because uh, we have learned many things like uh, those who are in the btech they have learned some c python in their btech and uh, and after btech few people like go for the mtech so while giving the interview in the mtech uh, they might have forgot that they are what they have learned in the btech but to fill the that resume to show that we have okay we have done all these things so so they intentionally put all these things like what they have done in the btech like they have done matlab they have done like uh, python some python coding related to python uh, some coding related to basics of c but they they don't have much idea on uh, or they don't uh, that much clear on that 
so is it good to mention all these things or we have to put all the things whatever we are more clear okay the first thing is like uh, let us say if you are going as a design engineer uh, for the design engineer right like let us say from digital design engineer yes so sir. you should be like uh, at least knowing the this tkl perl all these languages right at least three languages language. and all scripting language some scripting language you should be required right let us say if you are going as a like a, a circuit analog design engineer at least some basics of like networks uh, uh, like uh, uh, edc all these it things are RC, very important rc network focus on the like job requirement first okay you can mention it so that like uh, you can mention those things if the interviewer asks something on this right uh like uh, uh, first of all you should focus on the like what is the job requirement so mainly interior will focus on the job requirement only so like uh, analog designer will come like uh, let us say uh, interviews for analog design position uh, the interviewer will won't uh, won't ask on the c um, c basics right generally like they won't ask like okay if they ask also like you can tell like uh, i have worked on the previous thing like uh, definitely i can come up uh, like uh, i can fresh up the things and i can do okay. the uh, yes. bit like that you can mention okay, See, it is like... not a uh, like uh, like let us say you have done the matlab right uh, so you need to be clear like uh, so do you do you really know the matlab like uh, or simply you did some one pro- like uh, one program and you are writing the matlab like uh, right so at least like if you do the some projects on matlab like uh, let us say if uh, if not today if you are given a some time like 10 15 days can you do can you learn with the like uh, you already learned the matlab can you come up with the like uh, can you refresh the matlab or not that is what okay. persons will expect like let us say you are working on some project right in the btech so you might have for- forgotten now right like after the mtech and all after doing all these things let us say if they have given some time like uh, so uh, were you able to refresh everything or not like uh, would you able to uh, do it or not that is the thing they will act uh, like uh, uh, interior will more focus on actually hi uh, yes like if we are mentioning something so if we are not that much habitual if someone ask us okay that within 10 days you have to brush up all these things so we if we are that much confident that we will uh brush yeah, up all these yes, things yes. then then only we have to mention else no need to mention right basically let us say the uh, if you have taken any interview right like if you are given any interview right so like uh, while working on a project right like uh, so you may be like required to do some scripting or you may be required to do some matlab sims right so during that time like if you are given a one or two days of time you can come up with the things right uh, so yeah like that like you can mention if you enter your ask like if you do really don't know like you can tell him like uh, okay you <laughs> should be honest yeah. like yes yeah okay uh yes sir. so sir the next question is what is your job profile about if any ug student like uh, should need to learn the skills to get the to get to the, for that job so which kind of nptel courses would you like to suggest or like uh what are the skills they have to prepare for that for the same job profile for the design or uh, analog yeah for the circuit designer engineer right like uh, they should be having a like uh, uh, cmos basics like uh, so cmos circuit design like uh, uh, mainly i will suggest them to uh, go with the like networks uh, like uh, 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 network design okay and then like uh, uh, some device basics are required like uh, uh, basic device concepts and the analog circuit design like there are many nptel courses out there like with the different different professors they can go through those courses okay. and then additionally they can concentrate on the like these control systems uh, signals and systems uh, uh, basic maths like that so that is good enough to start the career actually um, yes sir so they, they should uh-huh. be strong actually like what out they know like uh, uh, let us say some person is interested on the digital design like they have some gone through like uh, some digital courses or uh, remaining things you, they can study for exam so some ex person is interested on the analog part they can go through the nptel analog concepts so that like uh, indirectly they can work on the, their interest thing 
see once you start working on your interested things right uh, your interest will uh, scale up like uh, yes uh, and sir like i would like to ask the question would you want to say a few words to our audience about the vlsi for all channel and its initiative what they are providing the content in the like youtube and in the courses also in the paid courses also to be frank like i i am not aware of the like uh, paid courses what uh, vlsa for all is providing uh, but uh, this kind what of interviews will help the like uh, uh, youtube channel i have seen like uh, yes. yeah these kind of interviews will help the freshers a lot like uh, uh, to uh, attain the uh, sufficient skills for them right so definitely like uh, uh, coming to like uh, coaching things like uh, uh professionally see like whatever you studied at the like uh, uh, btech academically is different from the whatever you work for work in the like industry so there is a uh, some bridges there like a gap is there like uh, between the academic and the, like uh, industry so i think like if you can fill that uh, uh, gap uh, like uh, will i say for all like if if it is a, like uh, if you are connecting the uh, like uh, academics with the industry professionals right definitely it will be a good thing like uh, it will be like a win win situation for the both actually right yes. so if you compare the industry professionals right like uh, they are little bit lag in the academic skills like uh, suppose if you ask them uh both are very important actually like uh, so uh, academic plus uh, uh, like uh, industry both are very important if the combination uh, both are like uh, he will be like uh, technically he will be very strong yes <coughs> uh yes sir so uh, sir we are in the end of interview before wrapping up the interview could you give some motivational tips to our viewers so that after watching this they feel more motivated towards the work towards like vlsi industries towards the semiconductor industries so yeah uh, i think uh, the only thing i can tell like whether whatever you are in the industry like uh, you can be belong to any industry like uh, you should work on your passion that's it that is the only thing i can tell like so you need to if you don't know your passion like try to find out the passion like so uh, passion means it's not a very big thing like at least small small things what you are interested in like uh, you, you it may take time like uh, three months some persons will take one month some persons will take like uh, one year also like let it let it be like but you try to figure out it. figure it out like uh, so what you like it so uh, see it is uh, like i can say work is like a kind of uh, uh, it is a inevitable right like uh, so so mostly you will study the engineering for only in four years right or four years right yes, so i am tech for or uh, two years yes. but lifelong you need to work right yes so so every day like let us say if the person is not having any interest on the work like if he don't like anything so he need to work 8 hours a day uh, until he at least like Without 40 it. 50 years it will be like a hell for them like hell he for. can't progress into the like uh, uh, career so that's why like while taking the like any career choice try to find out like what what you like most like at least like small small things he need to figure it out so uh, like if you are not liking the job like it is a very difficult to uh, survive like survive not After. to not to just survive like uh, even like it will be hell for you like see uh, let us say uh, if you if you don't like some movies right uh, if you keep on watching those movies like how do you feel right <laughs> it is the same thing like if you don't like the work if you keep on doing uh, see everyone will work for some money and uh, for family right so so while working right like if you work on the your uh, like uh, your uh, interested things it will be good actually like uh, mm, so your work will progress uh, your career will progress if you are working on the like uh, 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 things which are not in, which are not part of your interest then it will become a stress right yes, so uh, that's why people are become stressed uh, like uh, uh, they will get some medical Stress. issues all these things Yeah, uh, all these things because of the these things only. At least they should know. At least they should have some interest. Like, interest. Uh, 
interest so that they need to figure it out so that is the only thing i can tell mm-hmm. like any... okay. so like we have to find out our go with our interest only yes, yes thank yes. you yes thank you so much sir we are so grateful to have you we really appreciate your time that you gave us yeah thanks for thanks for inviting me like uh, yeah it's a, a, a pleasure talking with you same here sir same here thank you sir yeah thank you okay